All right, this is probably the most useful, neatest light I've ever had the privilege to own and have my hands on. This thing is awesome. This is Jetbeam PL190R, and they sent this light to me actually before it hit the market, and I'm already getting my fingerprints on there, but this thing is just wicked. It's aluminum, and I'll cover the specs on it. But it's basically a fill light, but it's also an emergency light and a phone charger. And this fill light, just that alone, using it for, say, you're taking photos of eBay, pictures, or doing videos and that, is just wicked. Now before we get too far into this, I'm going to cover some of the features on it. As it said, it's a great emergency power supply with multifunction red, green, and blue, red, green, blue display, uh, as far as would be emergency for in a vehicle or something like that which i'll show you a multi-purpose fill light for photography or film shoots and creative editing which it's just incredible how much you can fine tune the color temperature of the light uh high definition oled display in the back output range of color temperature 2500 to 8500k 60 warm light beads 60 cold light beads and 70 sets of red, green, and blue light beads. Allows various color modes and intensities to be easily adjusted using a rotary switch. Nine seed modes, uh, simulations, a built-in 5,000 milliamp lithium battery, which uh, works great as a charger for a phone. And then the double universal quarter 20 screws to, for uh, majority of all tripod mounts. A maximum output, 650 lumens. Over three hours continuous output for runtime. And then a the red, green, blue color, uh, zero to 360 degrees full color and zero to 100 uh, for saturation say in 39 meters of throw which to me it seemed a little more than that is what it is just on and on and on with this thing it just so many uses for this light not going to get into every little thing as far as switches we'll cover that when i'm showing you on the light itself but it's a pretty wicked light i really like it Full digital display. I want to show you the runtime on it. 99 plus hours. I've had this on actually at six, five or six percent, and I've ran it down already, but it runs for days. This amount of light. This is by no means the only thing it does. If you notice there, you got 20, 2500K. You can ramp that up all the way to 8500k which what that does is gives you a ultra white light you can see there i'm going to ramp it down and there's the 2500k 2500k 8500k and there's a ton of modes on this you got your right here is your turning your power up and down and this here changes different modes this is there's a dual press switch on here all right it rotates and if you push these they click and go through different menus so if i already hit this top button right here the, there's the on or the to turn the back panel on and that turns it on and this goes through the modes so if i already hit this i'm into the colored mode and as you can see there your s and your h for adjustments I can run this thing 360 degrees on the, doing the H right now I'm gonna turn this into basically a red I'm at a, a deep red right now and if I were to hit this side button push on it so you notice I went up now you can cycle through that way as well then you can go into a basically your strobe modes we're going to take this outside and show you this strobe mode. I got it. I don't know what I got it turned at, but hitting that bottom thing. It's so many different modes. I'm on A right now. Turn that to B. C. I can switch over to where I got all the colors going on. See that slowly changes your uh, or your color temperature. And this is more of a fade. 
where we can hit over to the flashing like I had it on and change it from red and blue to red, green and blue or whatever. We're back into the normal mode, but I really like this thing. I mean, it is even a night light. Give you an idea of all the LEDs in there. I'm running it through changing the different color temperature modes. Now I've had that setting on my nightstand with the lights turned down. It'll run forever like that. I mean days and days and days. Another good thing about this is like you could take a tri and you got a quarter twenty thread on this side and then one there. For whatever way you want your want it to be hooked up to the camera tripod or to a tripod. And then sitting there, like I said, if you're gonna take pictures for eBay and that, you can change your color temperature up. That's at 2600 k right there. I'm gonna shut off the upper light. That's 8500 k and then 2500 k But it does an outstanding job. I mean, you can turn the light up and down for video work and taking pictures. This thing is just, oh, it's unreal. I've, I'm going to use this in an incredible amount. I do a lot of eBaying and, of course, videoing, reviews on stuff, flashlights and that. This will probably be my fill light from now here on out. And the other cool thing is it's USB to USB-C. Not even turning it on. This is a Galaxy S10 Plus. It charges 5,000 milliamps of battery power to charge a phone. Pretty awesome. I want to take you outside and show you some beam shots and stuff like that of it or different modes outside. Not necessarily beam shots, not like a regular flashlight, but and give you an idea on this thing. So let's head outside and try it out. All right, for outdoor purposes, just for the heck of it, I'm going to turn this light on, put it on high. That's all the way up to 100%. And I have my yard lights on, but look at that. How much light output that has. With that on, oh, I got it put. It's changing colors. And there's a tree out there at 62 meters that I use to shine flashlights at. And it is hitting it. If I were to turn the... Uh, Kelvin up, it's all the way up to 8500K. Pretty neat. 8500K, 2500K. Big difference. Let's do a little bit closer. I just want to do it out farther. I got a lot of wind blowing, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me all right. We're good. This is at 50%. That's all the way down. As you can see, my yard light's on in the background. And that is the 2500K. And that's 8500K. A lot more appealing the lower lower K, 2500 right there. And we can go through some settings. That's red. About as red as you're going to want to get. Green. That's a deep blue. Ooh. That there is pretty cool. I'm going to do something here. Got that pumpkin on. Look at that blue. Is that cool or what? I can switch the other LED, bring her to a deep green, going back to that blue. Man, that thing gives off a lot of... That's red. Pretty neat. And there's the fade. Two colors. stand 62 meters away and shine this back at you like that cop light.
all that messing around, I still got two hours and 59 minutes of runtime left on high. Great all around light for pretty much anything you could think of. I just, I love it. So there you are, Jet Beam PL190R color. Is this thing wicked or what? I just, I love it. Anybody that's got flashlights and lights, they also, you can put a lanyard right through here to hang it if you want. This will fit in your pocket good. Great emergency light. Great great light for you know automobile. Beautiful light for say if you're doing photography for eBay or selling something or just plain plain photography. Video work, everything else, charging a phone. Uh, incredible battery life. Take this camping with you. You got enough light for days and it's in a tent. Pretty awesome. Check that link out down below on this thing. I'm telling you, you'd be impressed with it. It's by far I would say the most, the neatest light I've got and the most useful. So there you are. Till next time.